Hello and good morning. I'm Janine Folman. This is Open Friday Coffee. Thank you so much for joining us today. And we have a lot of new faces in the house today. And so what I'm going to do is let you know, sometimes we have a theme, sometimes we don't. This morning, we actually do happen to have a theme. Uh, I've been running my own business since I was 10 years old. And with the age I'm currently at, <clears throat> it means it's been over 40 years that I've been running my own business. And so I left the workforce after being an analytical biochemist, worked in the pharmaceutical industry. I was uh, enjoying the analytical automation and stuff that was happening. We were doing crazy stuff. Like we were promoting like one gigabyte of material and we were using RS-232 cables and thought we were the bomb. <laughs> Anyway, that's about when I got out of the workforce. <laughs> anyway, been having a great time ever since and just wanted to share with you guys some tips today. You will not offend me if you have to drop off. So it's show up when you can, leave when you have to. And I mean that because I know you are busy professionals. And if what we're talking about isn't going to help you, then by all means, go ahead and uh, take a few minutes out. You're welcome to turn off your video. If you want to turn off your video and go grab something, whatever. I do not take offense by this. I, you don't have, you're not in school. I used to be a college professor and I figure you're all grown adults and you're paying for this. So <laughs> I, you can do what you want in the classroom as long as everybody can hear me, right? <laughs> that kind of thing. So anyhow, that gives you a little bit of background of what this is. This is open office hours. I have around uh, 1,352 different students who have signed up for my 93 online courses over the time. And so this is where a lot of my collaborators and students like to come up and ask questions, that sort of thing. So before we get rolling into what I have to chat with you about today, I have a couple of questions from students. So we're going to go through those. Uh, does anybody have any pressing questions they want to ask me because they have to hop off real fast today? Okay, you know I don't keep you very long. We are moving on. So, <laughs> hi, Michael. Great to have you with us, fellow podcaster, and James Hipkin, our man with the plan, who is our website help hosting person. Okay, so for starters, I had a student contact me and ask me some questions. I'm going to put this, uh, have my team put this in the chat. We have Lynette Newman and Sean Bolin, who are both with us, who are uh, part of our team here at the Eight Gates, who helped me look and sound so good. So uh, if you guys would put in the chat the very first thing, and I believe that is the, how many people do you know? We're going to talk about basic, how do you build your business? Um, I am all about making sure you stay in business. And if you do not have the cash flow that you want, I want to make sure you get there. Okay. This is step one. I, I've taught this, <laughs> I have taught this for too long. I have taught this since 1992. Okay, this is how we started. it. Now, it used to be I would ask people to get a composition notebook, take a ruler, draw it out. Thank God for Google Sheets. <laughs> okay, you don't have to use this process anymore. This system is old. It is not new. It is not fancy. Actually, it's not even sexy. Okay, it has none of the, it has none of the sizzle. When people are like, Janine, if you're going to sell a steak, you have to have sizzle. I'm not a marketing person. I am a college professor that does what works. I am a business owner that does what works. Okay, so for those of you who have the chat, go ahead. I'd like you to pull that up and you're going to have a document that looks very simple. And I'd like you to print that out if you have a printer. If you don't, you can stay totally online. And what we are doing with that is, how many people do you already know? Sometimes you get to feeling like you struggle to find people in your world who want what you have to offer, trying to do that lead generation. What I do is I always go to Facebook, LinkedIn, and my contacts in my phone. <laughs> or you can use Google Contacts if that's what you want to do. And I want you to download every single name. Okay. And on, uh, I have a link on janinebolin.com forward slash how do I, how do I just all type it all together? How do I? And on there, there are videos that I've, I've pulled from YouTube on how to download your contacts from LinkedIn and from Facebook. And everybody goes, but I don't get any other information. I just get the name. I'm like, you get a name. People, these are warm leads. These are people who have said, I want to connect with you and said yes. 
And this is a warm lead. People spend thousands of dollars on lists. And I'm like, have you checked LinkedIn? Have you checked Facebook? And what you're going to do is you're going to build a huge master contact list. And that's where I need that second link to go up. And that link is the master contact list. This is a class example. I'd like you guys to take that contact list and copy it. And once you copy it, then it becomes yours. And you are more than welcome to uh, have that. And then you'll see that I've put my information in there. Yeah, very self-serving. Put my information right at the top of the list and gave you an example of this is how I use CRM. Now, for those of you who have already purchased a CRM, you're like, Janine, this is so basic. And I'm like, I think sometimes people forget the basics. Like, this is how you start a business. And if you don't have the cash flow you want, this is where you start. So you put every list in there that you have, and then you're going to start contacting people. And I would recommend you start with people that you have an email with. And what you're going to do is use the critical four hour a week system. And Sean, if you would be kind enough to put that in the chat, the critical, thank you, four hour a week system. So go ahead and pull that up. And then that's another document that you can download and print off for yourself. And we're going to talk about the critical four hours that every business owner should be doing. This is the system that no matter what happens, and as people who have been with me on Open Friday Coffee for so long know, that is, uh, there was a period of time, it was in October of 2023, where I had $95,000 leave my savings account, like gone, because I had house issues, and it was at the same time that my four children, they're in college now, and all of them had tuition due. And I watched the last client from my production company leave my business. So it was catastrophic. I went back to basics. This is the system I've used to build my business back up. I am now, I have lead gen, I have people, but this is the system every time I hit catastrophic problems, this is what I do. This is how I build myself back up and it only took three months. Okay, and I was able to kind of keep along. Uh, I didn't have to go to the grocery store and become a cashier, which was what I was willing to do because I was in that kind of dire straits. All right. So after you do all of that, what are the critical four hours? The first one is set up on your calendar right now, one hour a week, you're going to prospect. What does that mean? That list of people you've just made in your master contact sheet, you're going to take an hour and you're going to go through and you're going to contact every single one of those people. Go ahead, Sean. Uh, could you unbind the last document people are it's requesting oh. access for people? Oh, okay. Let me find it. Sorry about that. I thought I had done that. I was trying to make sure. Hang on just a second. Do, 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 I know. Do, yeah. Do, if people do, do. would just, I, I, if Janine would just do her thing, right? I think we're really in a bind about this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. If it weren't for Matt, we just wouldn't have any fun in this place. <laughs> All right, hang on. It's updating. You have uh, no, uh, you have no idea what I have in store for you today. So, uh, oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Matt is our man for those dad jokes. Okay, guys, I would just put it in the chat, the updated version. So, the critical four hours: you spend an hour a week prospecting, an hour a week doing follow up, follow up, an hour a week connecting, and an hour a week training yourself. You know, all those online courses you've purchased, all those things that you've purchased from other people and haven't had time, there's four hours a week. And why are you doing those four hours a week? Because that is how you're working on your business, not in your business. Now, I heard that most of my years being in business and I had no idea what people were talking about. I was just doing my thing. I was making money and people started talking about, are you working on your business, not in your business? I didn't know what they were talking about. And I was like, oh, I've been doing this all this time. I mean, I just thought this is what people did. And this was me at age 13. I had to start paying taxes when I was 10 years old. I had, I'll never forget it. The very first check I wrote to the IRS was for $33 and I was pissed. I couldn't even vote. And what my dad turned to me and reminded me and said, how often do you go to the public library? I went every week. And he goes, and how often do you ride the school bus? I go five days a week. And he goes, you're welcome. So he really taught me what my tax dollars are for. Now, as an adult, I have a different perspective, but it kind of got me over my, you know, my, my angst over the fact that I had to write the IRS $33 check and I couldn't even vote. So that's how my life has been. Um, so with the four hour week system, I'd like you to sit down and I challenge you over the weekend to take Sunday, download all this stuff, use all this stuff as free people. I don't even ask for your freaking email. Just 
go to this stuff and learn this because I want you to stay in business. It's one of those things that when I was reading Thomas Jefferson, part of my master's program, I was one of those uh, crazy people that went back at the age of 45 and got my master's. And when I got my master's, um, I had to read all 22 volumes of Thomas Jefferson's writings. And one of the things that I read in there, I was in constitutional law in case that explains that. And uh, the reason I did all that when I was writing, when I was looking at his writings, he said, as long as America has entrepreneurs and farmers, as long as we have those two things in this country, this country will survive any economic disaster. He felt that we would stay strong. So I have a vested interest in you staying in business, stay profitable. It's not just about making money. It's about staying profitable. Are you making a profit? And that's the, those are the things that I'd like you to focus on and take care of for today. Okay. So uh, I had a student ask me about the master contact sheet. Uh, she told me that she wasn't going to be able to be here. Um, when you get on this YouTube uh, link, all of the links that we just gave you, I'll make sure the documents are open and it will be in the show notes for you on YouTube if you ever want to go back and take a look at this. Okay, thank you for letting me answer my student's question. I appreciate it. Um, we have a few people who always give us a one minute tip. So we're gonna start off with Matt, but then we have a lot of folks who um, are new here and we're gonna go with our, our new people next. So we'll start off with Matt and then Griselle. I think I remember you came on uh, next. The Christelle and Tamara. And Dawn, Luca, welcome back from France, my man. Lovely to see you. Thank you. <laughs> we'll be with you shortly. Then we'll go Dawn and then Michael and then Luca. But first of all, uh, because the guy is actually at work and he pops in just to say hi, <laughs> Matt, give us our one minute tech tip today. It's great to see you. Uh, it's great to see everybody here. I actually want to start out with uh, something that you did. I was watching your practical mystic show on oh, YouTube thanks. yesterday and it's something interesting you said you said get the book through you I said okay this is a published poltergeist <laughs> <laughs> that's basically the, the book through you so all right to give you some context I was teaching a group of students how you go about reading a book and how you do it in mass when you're all reading the same book, blah, blah, blah. And I said, and the point of reading a book is not to get through the book, but to get the book through you. And that was something my mentor said back in 1998. <laughs> okay. And so that's what he's talking about. But thank you, Matt. I love it that yes. you have poltergeist in there too. All yes, right. So I, what's I, was, cooking? I, I saw that at 1230 this morning. It's like, I need new Matt material. So there's a, <laughs> exactly. There's, there's a lot to go through. I'm going to go as quickly as I can here. Um, the Mobile World Conference in uh, Barcelona took place this week. Motorola is coming out with a foldable phone you can wear like a watch. How cool is that? Samsung is also coming out with the Galaxy Ring. So instead of having a smart watch, you have a smart ring. Also, Lenovo came out with this thing or coming out with this thing. This is a transparent screen and a transparent keyboard. You can see right through it. So when you tap the keyboard, a virtual keyboard comes up. How cool is that? So... Uh, what else? Microsoft put out a patch that broke Windows 11. Elon oh, no. Musk. Yes, big surprise <laughs> there. Um, Elon Come out Musk. with a patch and it broke it? Yes, big big <laughs> surprise there. So um, Elon Musk came, uh, came out with a new robot called Optimus. So they're actually working in robotics after Transformers. Wendy's, interesting story there. It was a big backlash because they wanted to introduce dynamic pricing when you go to line and get a hamburger. Apparently, where's the beef? It's with you know Wendy's and their PR department. So, oh um, my also, gosh. yes, exactly. I won't cry. Uh, I won't have a cow for that one. Um, <laughs> so, also, rebel groups in uh, the Middle East are now breaking cables that are connect different countries to the internet in the Red Sea. Apparently, they're not they're, they're not floating on on, on the salt water. <laughs> um, there is a, a, a Walmart company called Husvarda that came out with Doom for a portable, you know, uh, lawnmower. You know, so apparently you can you know tear and shred, you know, on your on your lawnmower. <laughs> oh um, Avast, I'm sure you've heard of the antivirus company. They were fined by the FTC sixteen million dollars for selling browser your user data to advertisers. And the last thing I'll leave you for right now 
is cheap doorbell cameras have vulnerabilities where people can hack into them and be able to see your information. So speaking of that, if you guys want to sit there and talk nerdy, I'll put my information in the chat. It was great seeing everybody on here. And uh, thanks again, Janine. No problem. For those of you that are new, Matt Roseman shows up every week, updates us on what's happening, what to look for. If you have security issues or something, please give him a shout out. Uh, somebody tried to hack into my <laughs> website last week. He was working with me and my team, and we got it all sorted out. But the thing is, is uh, Matt is very reasonable and he won't take you for a ride. And I always feel much better after he's taken a look at my computer. So, uh, and he does that about once every two weeks, just to let you guys know. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you so much, Matt. Appreciate you. Uh, we're going to go back to uh, Grizel. Grizel, good morning. How can we help you today? Welcome to Open Friday Coffee. Hi, I'm really here as a spectator. I came to you from a network connection, Crystal, <clears throat> and I was not expecting for this to be a structured forum. I, I thought it was going to be a meet and greet kind of networking session. So anyway, <laughs> I'm excited that that you're sharing all of this amazingly useful content. I'm Griselle Scarantino. I'm a career crossroads coach. So I help people who are mid to later in their career and they are looking to create the next chapter of their professional story, but they just don't know what that chapter should look like for them. So I help them to figure that out. And I'm just excited to be here and meet you all, learn more about what you're doing. And thank you okay. again, Janine, for sharing. <laughs> Uh, no problem. Yeah, it is structured because of the number of people that want to meet with me. And so I had to start uh, building that in. Out of curiosity, Grizel, are you coming from Crystal Dietrich or which yes. Crystal? Okay, I just want to make sure I have the right person. And uh, definitely, is there anything I can help you with today? Or you just really just came to observe? I just came to oh, observe. Okay. <laughs> if, you have a, if you have a question, raise your hand Sean, or put it in the chat and Sean will raise his hand for you and go slow down, mom, stop. We need you to. <laughs> Thank you. Will do. Uh, Jeff, I have a lot of crystals in my database. <laughs> That's why I wanted to make sure we were talking about Maui. <laughs> okay. So then after Christelle, we have uh, Christelle and then Tamara. Christelle, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And you're with uh, the matchmaker.fm crowd. Uh, it's not matchmaker.fm. That's my agency, Exposure Maven. So. I'm your match podcast matchmaker because I'm the one doing the matchmaking for you. I, I see. How can I help you today, dear? <laughs> yeah, so same. I just, uh, we uh, connected, I think someone, uh, Jenny, Jenny connected out via email. And then this is the link that was available to connect with you. So here I am. I'm happy okay. to be here and learn more about what you do and yeah. Okay. Well, we have multiple podcasters here today. And one of the things that I seem to collect people who are creatives, authors, podcasters, um, and speakers. And so Mike McEwen is also on today and he is from Peru. And so if you are looking for a very dynamite guest who will not bore people, but will also be very engaging, you may want to give him a shout out. Also, Christelle, you want to chat with Michael? Uh, who is also a podcaster in Missouri. He has a live event that's getting ready to go. And so th that's another individual. And then pretty much everybody that's here has some sort of a media kit of some kind. If they don't, they're going to sign up for my course, right? And I would, uh, that way, anybody I refer to you comes with a media kit so that you're getting somebody of high quality. So that's why a lot of podcasters pop on here and ask for guests. You're always yeah, there. I mean, actually, just to clarify, I don't have a podcast. My job is to get people on podcasts. So that's where the matchmaking comes in. Once I know what you do, I match you with the right podcast, you know, to reach the perfect audience for you and large enough for you to make uh, the most out of it. So, yeah, that's what I do. I don't have a podcast, but if you want to be on my podcast this year, I'm the person you want to talk to. Okay. And so we have a lot of podcasters on here as well as authors. And so if you have any questions, please raise your hand or put the question in the chat and Sean will slow me down. It will be great. Thank you so much for taking time Thank out you. of your Friday to be with us. I appreciate it. Tamara, good morning. What can we do for you? How can I help you? Yes, I'm super glad. Nice to meet you. I uh, Matt told me about you. I asked who is fun around you, who is professional, who is 
<laughs> see Matt being very serious. Uh, I know you, Matt, stop being so serious. So um, yeah, anyway, I'm happy to just be here and actually a bit like other people, uh, I'm a fun and confidence coach. So I just like a bit to surround myself uh, with uh, like-minded people that uh, don't take themselves and life too seriously, even if they do great stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I just believe that we all know people. So I'm, I'm glad just to see how you're doing it. And uh, yeah, it's just a really a good vibe. And so I'm happy to, to be here. Well, Claire, you're always welcome to show up. Thank if you, you have time on a Friday, seriously, save that link. And because we do switch out the room about every quarter just to keep keep that link fresh. But you're always welcome here. And if you need like, hey, Janine, can you put me in touch with that person that did X, Y, Z? Always glad to connect people together. That's what we're here for. But basically, yes, we're yeah. all entrepreneurs or creatives of one form or another. And our job is to be profitable so that we can have a higher impact serving the communities that we care about. And so okay. just wanted to let you know, that's Sorry. kind of who we are and, and what we are. So thank you for showing up today. Dawn, thank you so much. it's lovely to chat with you. Dawn, talk to us, my dear. What's happening? What's going on? Hey, I am uh, so happy to be here. It's been a while and I've been really, really busy. Um, so for those of you who are new or have never seen me before, my name is Dawn Tavita. I am your wellness guru, both in yoga, meditation, Ayurveda, wellness, and um, have been really enjoying being on podcasts. So for those of you who want um, to hook me up with those people who want an unfiltered teacher, because that's what I've been cloned to be, um, that's who I am. One thing that I wanted to share with you, Janine, and everyone else here, um, recently I've been looking at my newsletters that go out and crazy fact, but about 90% are opening my newsletters from a desktop. What does that tell you? <laughs> I know what it tells me and I'm, I'm totally going to like start doing your prospecting, Janine, because that will totally help me. Um, bring in more mobile users. But um, if you have any tips on how to make that shift. So for me right away, knowing that most people are opening from a desktop, I am working with um, a, a more mature, if you will, um, group of people, right? You yes. got any tips? <laughs> yes, please realize that not everybody uh, is working from their phones and that there are some people that are looking for a break while they're at work. Okay, so that's another aspect. And then I'm going to bring on James. J Whenever James' hand goes up, it's because he has data. He's like me. He's an analytical kind of guy. So if he has data and he also works in big industry and helps them keep their website safe. So go ahead, James really effective way to build your list as, and it, it will lean towards mobile people. Create a tabletop card with a QR code on it. Whenever you're at a live event, put that table, make it, and people will scan the code and they will be able to join your list. It's so easy. People love it, and it, it will really supercharge your list building, particularly as I suspect you are doing live events. Um, it makes a huge difference, and it's very easy to do. I can even show you a sample if you want. We and do it for our clients all the time. Thank you, James. And also, Don, the cards that I send you, there's a reason why on the back, Open Friday Coffee has a QR code. That's another uh -huh. reason why, because when uh -huh. James... James educated me on this. That's what I ended up starting to do. Okay, so yeah, so so this is this is what it looks like, everybody. So it basically it's a square, and I'm gonna turn about my background so you guys can see. But this is an example of what um, he's describing here. So here's the code, and then you can scan the information that's inside. I went to a networking meeting. I used this two days ago. It was great because guess what? If you run out of business cards, you definitely won't run out of this. Yep. And you can put it on your Zoom background, as you can see, I have done whichever hand. There you go. There you go. You got it. <laughs> um, that mirror image. <laughs> yeah, same thing. It's it's just a very, very handy, simple thing to do. So what I like to share with folks is that Open Friday Coffee is where my brain trust comes together. 
And I don't have the answers for everybody. I just have my answers and then other people have other answers. And so if you have suggestions or comments, feel free to raise your hand. I will call on you because you are a part of the Brain Trust today. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you, James. I appreciate it. So Don, we got you taken care of. You got your, you got stuff to get started, get rolling on that. Um, Michael, talk to us. My, you know, you're, what we, we we were talking about your event that you have going on in St. Louis. Yeah. Yeah. We so. we have been in each other's inboxes on the oh. phone a lot. So, <laughs> so it's good to be back. Well, my name, my name is Michael Fritz Hughes. I'm the founder of Podcastify Me. And I love the idea of the tabletop cards. I reached over and I'm like, oh, I've got one of those. I make my own as well. And then they've got a QR code at the very bottom. Here you don't have to read that. There's a lot of stuff here, but, but <laughs> I use that for um, getting information for people that are looking to guest on shows and all kinds of stuff. It's great for outreach, and yeah, it, it taps into the mobile market. I do have an event coming up uh, the end of this month, so March 28th and 29th. I'm going to be dumping everything that I know about podcasting into this two-day event. It's eight modules spread out over two days because. Otherwise, it'll be like drinking from a fire hose. We're going to go through a workbook together. We're going to do a, a nice little workshop, do some networking on the side, and it's just going to be great. I'm excited. I'm a little scared because I've never done anything this big, but I'm also really excited. Yeah, and it's an in-person event. So, you know, if you happen to be going through LaGuardia, <laughs> feel free to stop in. Anyway, Michael, anything we can help you with specifically today? Um, yeah, if you've got some contacts that either have started a podcast and they're like, ah, this really isn't resonating, or they've been sitting on the idea for a little too long and the idea is getting musty, you got to tell them about the event. Is it okay for me to drop a link in the chat or? Yes, you asked very nicely and you okay. didn't just do it and we don't have to delete it. Yeah, you are welcome to do that. Thank you for asking. What a sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we'll chat with you later, Michael. Good luck with your event. And if you have a question or somebody brings up something, uh, definitely connect with as many of the people here as you can because they know podcasters, okay? They'll be able to, to spread the message a bit. Um, we have Luca and then uh, Mark. And so Luca, welcome back from France. What's happening? What can we do for you today? Thank you. I mean, there's nothing really that you can do for me. I just wanted to share... Um you know, emerging technologies, because obviously I'm interested in the fitness and longevity, um, you know, field. So there's recently been a lot of, um, I believe it's called Eterna Health. It's, I believe it's based in Canada, but they're working on gene therapies and technology. I don't know if you're aware of someone named Brian Johnson, where he's this millionaire looking to uh, basically reverse his age. Um and so he's working with doctors at Eterna Health, and it seems like there are a lot of gene therapies coming out to help either with longevity or uh, hormonal function, just generally speaking, a lot of um, health parameters that they're working on. And so it's a very interesting technology that's coming out. It's got something that's got your ear because of what you work in. Do you mind telling people what you do? Yeah, sure. So um, right now I'm, I'm doing a lot of research into... The uh, I'm basically in the fitness community. Uh, there you and... go. That's what I'll, I just wanted you to <laughs> say. I'm in, the fitness, I'm in the right, fitness community. I'm in the fitness industry, but I just wanted you to be able to share that. Yeah. So thanks, Luca. I appreciate it. Absolutely. If you come up with something that we can help you with. Please put, raise your hand. We'll be glad to circle back around you. Welcome, Maui, Crystal. We'll get to you in just a minute. First, we have to go to the Great White North. We have a lot of Canadians on tap today. Thank you very much for showing up, Mark. Talk to us, Mr. Reset It. What's happening? What's going on? How can we help? Well, the um, I was out for the last four days. I was in uh, on vacation with in Cuba, so <laughs> I was <laughs> it was it was I had a beautiful time doing what I needed to do and get some sunshine. Um, it, why being on? Um, I've been I haven't been traveling since uh, the COVID, uh -huh. and what what I realized is that I saw a lot of people in the airports in this in the places. And what I realize is that there's a lot of people sick. I mean, the overweight in 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 America and Canada and everywhere else. Well, how the how our bodies are really um, 
really in a bad shape. So I, I just realized that there's a lot of people that need to get that reset of the nourishment in their body. So uh, we're coming up with the reset it program and doing the nutrition side a lot with the nutrition side as well in our next uh, our next uh, things that we're doing. So what I'm doing, what my ask today is that if you know anybody that's doing anything with nutrition, health, uh, fitness, I we got to get in touch. I got to get in touch with Luca. Um, we want to put a program together to uh, reset those uh, things that I saw. So that's what I'm uh doing. Okay. And Mark, I'd like to introduce you to Don DeVita. Don DeVita was the very first sponsor I ever had in 2016 when I got back into audio blogging. By then they called it podcasting. She was the very first sponsor we had for the Practical Mystic Show. And she also uh, was working on a book at that time uh, and is quite educated in the nutritional aspect. So I think the three of you definitely have a lot to offer each other and I would recommend it. And then Crystal, if you would, or um, Christelle, uh, if you would be kind enough to pass along any of the podcasters or speakers that you know to Mark, that would be very beneficial to him. And then we can help you as well. But that's kind of how the brain trust works. It's like we pull from our different groups and we start doing introductions and stuff as, as each business owner pivots just a little bit as they see a need and they have a business structure that will support that need and help with that problem. So thank you very much for helping us out. Uh, we're going to go with James Hipkin and then um, Mike and then uh, Jeff and then Rich. And so James, great to see you. Thanks for already chatting it up, helping us out. What's in what's new in the world of website development? Well, not website development, although we did spend yesterday helping a client connect their e-commerce store to NetSuites. <laughs> it's a really Ooh, nerdy the fun. Ooh, the fun, the fun. It doesn't get much more fun than API connections. Um, <laughs> Talk, but, dirty. But, Talk dirty. Talk dirty. <laughs> <laughs> but the other little bit of thing that happened on Leap Day yesterday... Um, was that the book that I've been working on and that with Jeff's help was published oh, yesterday. Yay! It is live yay! on Amazon and I'm very happy. Um, we still have some work to do. We've got all kinds of really positive and worthwhile feedback from beta readers um, that we need to honor and action on. Um, and then there's a launch party scheduled for March 14th. If anybody would like to participate. Oh, in I'm that. sorry. I'm having my launch party for published profitability on March 14th. We need to chat, my man. Okay. Well, All right. <laughs> there you go. So it, depending upon if you're an author and you want to be published and profitable or go to James, if you want to do what his book suggests. Well, maybe the timing works out. You could do both. Maybe we'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah, no problem. Thanks for letting us know. It's always good to hear from you. Okay, so uh, next we have Mike from Peru. Talk to us. Well, thanks, Gene. Actually, it's Mike to Peru from the mean streets of Massapequa, Long Island. So you don't think I'm <laughs> most Peruvians don't look like me. Well, <laughs> as you know, even though I'm a speaking coach, I love to talk. I like to let my background do the talking for me. So today's lesson is this right here. And you can see my award-winning graphic, sell yourself to yourself. And yeah, there's my, <laughs> you can't see the big money I'm holding on to. But that is award-winning graphic design. Just look at this. Where am I coming out? There he doesn't have there. his tongue in his cheek, but he he it's happening there. <laughs> there you go. go exactly. ahead, Mike. <laughs> but what I was saying is yesterday, you know, we when we meet, it's either at a podcast, I mean a network group, we get a minute, or we have a one-on-one. -on -one, and you want to tell people what you do. I mean, I want you to know what I do and what it's like to work with me. So if you want to hire me, you don't have to, you don't have to beg me. But at the same time, you don't want the hard sell. Yesterday, somebody gave me the hard sell in my apartment. We're sort of maybe getting a security system in here, and they just laid it down. You're lucky you haven't been killed already. People have guns here. It's so dangerous. And and it really, and then they just, once they presented their prices, they just kept on trying to convince. And I said, I hope I never, ever, ever do this to anybody. There's a exactly. way, and now you can't not promote your product, but to put the pressure on and that includes when you're speaking too. 
you want people to know what you do, but it can't be all about your product. So especially we have a lot of new people here. I want to just put that very simple, very magic formula. First, you talk about the audience. Then you talk about your product. And then when you've earned it, you can talk about yourself. Now, I know we have a lot of podcasters here. And the first question is usually, so tell us something about yourself. Okay, well, th that could be a good icebreaker. But when you hold the stage and it's your turn to speak, somebody, somebody's changing the locks. We don't need a home security system. They're changing the locks. Somebody robbed me yesterday. <laughs> he got away with $6 worth of Peruvian money. And he left behind more clothing than the money was worth. But anyway... Put the focus on your audience first, tap into them, then your material, your product, and then when you've earned it, you can talk about yourself. And my ask is simply you follow me on LinkedIn. And hope that's not it. And follow me on LinkedIn. All right. Thank you very much, Mike. We appreciate you. We always appreciate your tips. And for those of you who weren't with us uh, last week, we talked about the five whys of customer service, which is what Mike is kind of tapping into, which is where you, you talk to people about their whys. You ask them why five times in five different ways. You do it well, not just why and why and why. <laughs> you don't want that to happen. Anyway, Shailene, I see you there. Thank you so much for joining us. We'll get to you in just a little bit. First, we have Jeff Borschwad, then Rich Beyer, Crystal Dietrich, and then Shailene. And so let's go with Jeff. What's happening, my man? How is the Great White North? Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Always a pleasure to be here. And for the first time, nobody had to use this. So, <laughs> right, we haven't had to use our you're on mute cards. Ooh. For people who want the you're on mute card, you don't go into a funnel or anything. It's just a fun little gig we have. Go ahead, sign up for it. We'll send you one. Go ahead, Jeff. What's cooking? So, well, I just want to say uh, congratulations to Jame on his book. And uh, rumor has it, Crystal's got one coming out very soon. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, my tip today, um, I was on a AI workshop seminar event yesterday. James was one of the speakers. And my biggest takeaway was um, be focused. And one of the presenters shared 120 tools of AI. And I got a whole bunch of people asking me, how many of these do you use? And my answer was one. So that's my, my answer for you today. That's my tip for today is be really good at one thing rather than vaguely aware of 120 things. Um, now, I have no doubt that presenter knows their 120 things because their job is to help people pick the right tools. Um, but in life, in networking, in writing a book, one thing, oh, sorry, one thing, we won't use two <laughs> fingers, I'll confuse people. Um, one thing, one message, clarity. And that's my one minute tip. Yeah, I don't know if that was a minute, but basically, Figure out what you want to be known for and stick to that one thing and be really damn good at it. So just to let you guys know, whenever I had to learn something back in the days before you could go to Wikipedia and what have you, I'd go to the library and I'd go to the children's section and I would learn how to do something new from a book in the children's section. Why? Because if it's written for children, they expect you not to know anything and they have colors and graphics and it's pretty. And then you learn all the lingo. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You learn all the lingo in a children's book. And then I would go and find one book on the topic. So when I had to do something new that I'd never done before, let's take, I had to make quilts. All right. I had all the scrap material. I had no idea how to make quilts. People are like, oh, you don't have any family. Uh, no, they're all dead. Well, that's a different story. But anyway, it's like, no, I didn't have family in my life. So I went to the library and I got one book on quilting and I followed it to the letter. And then I started getting a second book and a third book. By the way, if you ever want to become a master at something, you check out three books on the topic and read it. And if they're updated, you will become a master of the topic. You only need 70 hours of education to become a master of that topic. Just to let you know, that's what they, what they use all the time. So thank you, Jeff, for reminding us to do one thing. And if you do one thing and you do it very well, then people will get to know you for that one thing. So thank you so much. Appreciate you. Okay. We have the other Hebrew haha -ha today. 
we have our branding dude, Rich Fire. I love, I love how both Matt and Rich <laughs> pop up. Good morning, Rich. <laughs> I hear Hebrew and I'm like, what? 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 Who? Huh? <laughs> Is somebody calling me a name? <laughs> well, it, 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 well, well it's, it's Shabbos tonight, Rich. So it, It's Shabbos every Friday night. <laughs> Just so. to remind you. Just to remind Just, you in case you forgot. <laughs> You know, I, I, I love, you know, first of all, I live in New York City, so you, 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 we, and I'm Jewish. So if I say anything that sounds a little off color about Jews, I'm not. <laughs> but, you know, on Fridays, especially towards the end of the day, you see a lot of people, um, a lot of the observant Jews, let's just put it that way, like <laughs> running to the subways or whatever. And we all, I, you know, the, the joke is it's Russia Homa. <laughs> <Russia> <laughs> But anyway, Rich Fire uh, with you, everybody. Good morning. And I'm a brand designer. So I'm going to talk to you about branding today. And uh, you, as I love to start off with on this date, uh, in uh, 1941, do I have any Captain America fans? On this date, the Captain America, the first issue was, was published. Nice. Okay? On this date, Mickey Mantle retired. <laughs> That was a while for ago. Those, a while ago, yeah. But, you know, for those of us that were of that an age to remember, you know, he kind of defined baseball. He was, he, 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 he was, he was a piece of baseball branding. Mm -hmm. And 1872, the Yellowstone National Park Protection Act was enacted. And that made Yellowstone the first national park in the world. So that's pretty good uh, branding for America. Now for the want, want, branding boo-boos. <laughs> 1995. Our favorite, our favorite part of the program. Go 19, ahead, 19, <laughs> 1995. I don't know if you guys remember Calvin Klein. And they were they were using really young people. And it was like this dimly lit kind of porn, kitty porn kind of feel. And it, to the point where the... Um, it forced the Justice, the Justice Department to open an investigation, and they ultimately had, had to take out. Wait, they had to take out a full-page ad in the New York Times, basically saying that that they were not into child porn at all. Oh my god! Now, that's really not what you want your brand to be. Uh, and and does anybody remember um, fat-free Wow potato chips? It was made with a, a, a no fat, but it was made with something called Olestra. Oh, yes. I remember. Yes. yes. And people were eating fat free potato chips and then crapping their brains out because it was <laughs> act, Olestra was acting as a laxative in their body. So, <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it, folks. You really, <laughs> things you, you don't want your business to be associated with child pornography or gastrointestinal distress. No distress. So. <laughs> Just saying. Just a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Rich. You always give us something to think about. Appreciate that. I love well, it. It's, I, it's something to think about in the end. In the end. Yes, I was avoiding that because I figured Matt would jump in at any moment with something. Along that line, I, well, the thing is, I mean, I, I guess, I guess the chips would really be down in, in that respect. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, both of you. Appreciate you guys. Okay, Crystal, take us out of this insanity. Welcome, Maui, to the room. We appreciate you, Islanders. How's it going? Oh, it's going. It's going. Uh, oh, why do I have to follow Ridge? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's tough, but when those arrive, arrive late. <laughs> I know, I know. Um, all right. Well, welcome. Hi, everybody. Aloha. What's up, Giselle? Giselle. <laughs> so good to see you. Um, my tip for today is I was very pleasantly reminded over the last couple of days as my my son is on home sick and uh he's feeling great which when you can't go to school and you're feeling great it's a wonderful time for the parents so we've been having lots of fun um but he's doing well and probably will be able to go back to school on Monday but um so the tip for today is remember your reality is created in the now we always worry about the future we think about the past but really, our reality is in the now. So if you're not able to be in the now, 
find people who can help you be in the now. Find people who can help you have your future wants in the now. I know many of you on this call help me be in the now. If I'm having a moment where it's like, but I want this and it's going to happen in, you know, five years, I can call one of you and it happens right here in the now. I have those feelings right here in the now. So those of you that are here, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shailene sending you extra love during tax season. Cause I know <laughs> <laughs> we, we need lots of love. It, tax season will be over soon. We're sending you some love. So reality happens in the now. That's all I got for you. We'll keep it simple. Oh, and one last thing in the now. I can't wait. Can't <laughs> you can't wait. Can't wait. To the island. I was worried the bridge was going to be out, but <laughs> that is a joke that I always love to share with Crystal. I used to work at a little package store in California and people would walk in and they say, I want to ship this UPS ground to Hawaii. And I go, you know what? Normally we could do that for you, but I'm sorry, the bridge is out. And you could see people behind them laughing in line. And yet they're looking at me like, what? <laughs> sorry, it has to Can't go drive by it over. air. Yeah, you can't yeah. drive it over, baby. Sorry, it's a little too far <laughs> into the Pacific. <laughs> anyway, one of my favorite jokes uh, and bad. Yes, you bet. So Shailene, take us out of the insanity, back up to the wonderful Canadians. How you doing? I know it's tax season. How can we help you? <laughs> it's funny because I used to work at the largest courier company in Canada and they'd say things like that. You'd be like, no, <laughs> they get to the island. <laughs> That, that was good. And thank you, uh, Crystal, about being in the now, because that seems to have been a struggle. I'm telling you the last couple of days. Um, my my tip is do your taxes, please. <laughs> don't be afraid to go to somebody and get help. Don't be don't be embarrassed. Uh, and if you're in Canada, you can call me. <laughs> <I'll help. laughs> uh, and my my second tip with that goes uh, learn to say no. Holy Moses. I have a, a client who has come to me uh, yesterday. She needs uh, four tax returns done in the next 12 days. And we're in the midst of tax season. I'm sorry, she's a past client mm -hmm. and there's no way I'm taking this client back. So I'm like, no, I'm sorry, we can't. She's like, you know, I really, really need this. I said, okay, well, I'm going to have to charge you this much. And I had this astronomical number. And so she said, no, I can't do that. I said, okay, well, okay, good luck. So that's <laughs> how I learned. That was, I kind of matched my no my denying someone to their personality. And sometimes that's the best way to do it. So you're like, I wish I could help. I can't. Yes. The I'm shorter, no. the shorter the timeline, the higher the cost. So when somebody that's wants okay. me to turn something around in 24 hours and I have a very solid schedule, I quadruple my fees. Yep. <laughs> and it's amazing how all of a sudden they're like, wow, that's really expensive. I said, those are my rush fees. And then they're like, well, how much in 72 hours? And then they start. <laughs> and it's it's amazing how the price then goes down to a reasonable level. So definitely adjust your pricing accordingly. Thank you, Shailene. Excellent tip. Love to hear it. Okay. I think we have everybody run through at least once, right? Did I miss anybody? I think we got everybody in to be able to say something. Okay. So does anyone have any questions on your master contact sheet, your four critical hours, and lead generation? Everybody knows what to say, right? When you call up these people that you haven't talked to in five years, you know what to say. You know how to handle your messaging. You know what you're doing. All right, moving on then. We won't worry about that. Um, does anybody have any questions for anyone in the room? Because like I said, we have a brain trust. Does anybody have any questions? Because we have 10 minutes, people. Oh, go, Crystal. I need an illustrator. Does anyone know a good illustrator that can create a cartoon? And can you send me some contacts, please? And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. for like a, like a short video. Okay. I have uh, the cartoon okay. company. Ooh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. so Jeff has somebody. I have somebody. We'll send, we'll send you our illustrators and... Uh, yeah, his name is Goo Genius because his last name is Gazelia. <laughs> and so, uh, so awesome. uh, we'll definitely get Goo Genius to chat with you. Okay. Um, and then you can chat it up with Jeff's person. And does anybody else have an illustrator in their world? Go ahead, James and Mike. So if you would send Crystal an email or uh, Carrier Pigeon. <laughs> They do really well to Hawaii. 
because the bridge is <laughs> because the bridge is out and you can't get there from here. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Exactly. And if you need it overnight, it it's I recommend the owls. <laughs> Those help. Okay. So for all of you that have illustrators and uh, all that, please go to uh, Crystal. If you'll put your LinkedIn uh, link in there, and that way people can send you messages that way and connect you with the people that they know, and you'll get a plethora that you get to choose from. Okay. All right. Uh, we got eight minutes. Anybody have anything else they want to ask or have a need or a question? If not, we'll wrap this sucker up early. <laughs> right. Don't worry. Everybody, everybody remember to save the chat so you have all the links that Janine had posted in there. Yep. You want to save the chat. And you're also welcome to wait until I post it up on YouTube, but that takes me a bit to do. And then you will have it in the show notes there as well. So go ahead, Rich. By the way, I don't know if everybody knows, but they moved where the save chat button is. So it used to be like all the way at the bottom with the, like the emoticons and whatever, the chat window, it's now at the way top. So yeah, the, the, yeah, the upper right-hand corner. So <clears> in <throat> the upper right-hand corner, you'll see the three lines called the ellipses. You'll see the square and you'll see the X. You gotta hit the three lines or three dots to be able to save the chat. Okay. Thank you for finishing my sentence, Matt. You're welcome. <laughs> well, sometimes I could be Matt Moyle, you know, so. <laughs> you what? I could be Matt Moyle because I cut you off. So, oh. <laughs> and that's when he only works for tips. <laughs> okay, this has gone downhill real fast. <laughs> well, it was, it was it was a cut above the rest, you know. So. <laughs> and people wonder why I enjoy my Friday morning so much, and this is why. Okay, so uh, last night I was working on yet another book, and like I have shared with people before, if you have a book or you want to create a workbook. If you're a podcaster, a lot of times your episodes can be created into books. I'd like you to reach out to Jeff Borshawa or Borshwa. Sorry, I'll get there. Jeff Borshwa. I actually have known this man for years and years. <laughs> Trust me, but I butcher his name every time because <laughs> I look at how it's spelled instead of just going, Janine, you know how to say it. Just, just don't look at the name. Uh, but anyway, Jeff can help you with that. Uh, last night I was creating a book. It's called uh, The Right Habit. It's a series that I run. And Jeff showed me how you go about running a series on KDP so that you can have workbooks for every class that you run. And let me tell you, as a person who's created 93 online courses, I like to give physical three-dimensional workbooks to my students because most of them like to the physicality of writing. Not all of them enjoy being totally digital. Some of my people do, but for the most part, people want to download or want to purchase the workbook so that they can write in it and they have it later. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so Rich can help. I'm sorry, not Rich. Jeff can help you with that. Rich, you're misbehaving. <laughs> and don't think I can't see what you got going on in the chat while I'm speaking. <laughs> and you want to may want to mute yourself so you're not laughing hysterically. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is why I like open Friday copy. Okay. Anybody have any questions or any comments before we get ready to go? Because I will shut this down since you guys are busy professionals. You have things to do. Okay. Jeff, I'm going to ask you to stay on a little bit later and uh, as we close out. But I want to say thank you for spending your uh, Friday with us. You could be so many other places. You chose to be with us as a part of the Brain Trust now. Please feel free to come back any Friday that you have a need. Come with an ask. We will try to get you connected with people that can serve you and your needs. All right, take care. Have a great day. Talk to you guys later. Bye now.